Hello, so here I'm going to show you about deformable parts. So I have these four fittings here that I need to connect a piece of pipe to. And the nexus of this uh, exercise is that, you know, I want to have that uh, part file be the same name. I don't want to create two separate parts for this hose and that hose. I want them to be controlled by one part. Now, one of the instances here needs to be longer than the other, as you can see. So this one needs to be significantly larger than this one. So what we have to do is create a deformable part. So you can see I have my fittings here. There's four of them. So I've already created a new part. I just went to File New, and I called this the Deformed Hose. And what I did was I simply created an extrude feature that you can see from here. And I'm going to say Sketch Section. That is 19 in outer diameter and 15 in inner diameter. And what I did was I assigned a parameter to my distance here. So if I type in hose L, I already used the length, so I'm just going to type in hose L equals 5. You can see that now this is controlled by that parameter. Now what I need to do once I do this is I need to come up here and say define deformable part so when I do that it says that I've already done it but but you know if you were barely starting you wouldn't get this window so I'm gonna say I do want to continue and it says hey all right what does the name need to be that's correct that's the correct name and then I'm going to drop the datum coordinate system and the extrude into the features and deformable part window and you can do that by hitting that little button and then here, the one that I'm interested in is the hose L. So if I select that and hit that little add expression, here you can type in a prompt. So I can say enter the value for the hose length. Press enter. Now, the expression rules, they allow you to do certain things. For example, none. You can enter a blind value, and it'll extrude it up to that uh, number that you put in. Uh, by whole number range and by number range, you specify a range that uh, a minimum and a maximum, and you can only extrude it between those numbers. Uh, options is a little bit more advanced. I'm not going to go over that. So I'm going to say none, and then I'm going to say next. There are no references. So I'm going to say next, and then I'm going to say finish. And I'm going to say close. So there's my deformable part. Now, what I need to do is I need to bring that part in here. And I need to extrude it in a different number with respect to both of these instances. So first, let's find out what the distance is from this edge to the opposite edge there. So if I go into Analysis, Measure, and then I t select that face, and then I select the other face, which is located right there. According to this, this is 107 millimeters. So we're going to go in here and then say assemblies, add, there's my deformed hose, and I'm going to use a concentric constraint to put this guy right there. Now it needs to be flipped, so I'm just going to flip it, and then I'm going to say OK. And you can see that now it's asking you, hey, you need to put in a value for this hose length. So I'm going to type in 107, I'm going to say OK, and you can see that now there's the hose length. So let's do the exact same thing over here. I'm going to say analysis, measure, and let's measure this distance from there to there. Now this is 161, so same thing. I'm going to go into assemblies, add, and then I will put into deformed hose, and then I will say that I need to do a concentric constraint, but first let me kind of move this out of the way and then change it back to constraint. So I will say that this needs to be concentric with that. And I'm going to flip it and I'm going to say OK. And again, it asks you for a parameter. So I'll type in 161. I think that's what it was and say OK. And now you can see that both parts are controlled by this deformed hose and they have different lengths. Now, if you were doing, say, for example, a bridge curve, that would be a little bit more difficult. And for that, you would actually need to use the electrical, I'm sorry, not the electrical, the mechanical routing package. Uh, and if you need some help with that, you can always reach out to me and I can 
uh, make some quick videos for you. But anyway, that's how you do deformable parts. If you have any questions, you know where to reach me. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.